This is Victor Echo 7, Echo Delta. Today I'm looking at a Cantronics KPC3 Plus. You'll notice on the top of the cover, they have VE7ED with an SSID of dash 8. In our area, that's 14497. Also, this has been set up for a Yesu FTM 400 Delta. Below that is the XMIT level of 228. That gets us the levels for 2.75 kilohertz of deviation. On the TNC itself, with the lid off, you'll be able to see the battery for backup. That's the CR2032 3 volt lithium. You'll see an empty slot right here. That's for the clock chip and the KPC3 plus 9.1. I upgraded this to 9.1 from 8.3. The firmware, the clock chip are both available from Camptronics. If by any chance you need to reset it, like when you put the clock chip in, over here is a Berg block, two pin. When it's on one pin, it's normal. When you put it on two pins, it does a reset. Off to the right top corner here, you'll notice a bunch of other jumpers. One of those is so we can put 12 volts in through this connection here, which is the DB9 to the radio, or from the radio. So we don't have to use a plug-in barrel connection. Caution on the barrel connections, if you're not using the Cantronics one, it will have an exposed end, and you could short it to ground taking out the fuse or taking out one of the traces on the board. The DB25 is to going to the computer. The one I have here is a desktop, the standard COM port using a DB9 on one end, the 25 on the TNC end. We move over to the radio port, which is this connection here. It's a DB9, which has Transmit audio, push to talk, receive audio, ground, and also 12 volts. When I use my Cant uh, Cantronics with the Motorola, the nice part is, is the Motorola connection has 12 volts on it, which powers in through the port here with the right jumper switched I no longer require that barrel connection. One less thing to fall out. The Motorola has a push on the connections on the 16 pin and a bolt on with the DB9. I also use this TNC for the, the uh, Yesu FTM 400. That uses the CT167, which is the 10 pin, to the DB9. And again, all I had to do is transmit audio, receive audio, push to talk, and ground. I also use a software program called Airmail for Diagnostics, the quick setup for airmail, under tools, options, connection, because this is HF based program, we take the closest we can to a KPC3, which is a CAM plus. I know it's COM1 and 9600. Also under modules, make sure nothing is ticked. Weather fax is grayed out, don't worry about that. Tick the VHF packet, go into setup and set it the same, COM1 9600, and make sure it's on KPC3. That is the same as KPC3 plus, they use the same command set. The TX audio level is set to 228, but grayed out. The reason for that, you would have to go to something like the PTC, to be able to change it, once you've changed it, change it back to the KPC3 and click OK. Click OK. 
And up here we have the last icon on the right. That particular one will allow us to initialize the TNC. Click on that one. It will come up. There'll be a second go by and then it says packet initialized OK. So we know we've initialized it OK. If not, close that window and do it again. If it came up instantaneous, that's when you have to redo that. So we'll close that and we'll go look and see if we can talk to the TNC. We go to Tools and Dumb Terminal. But first I'm going to turn the TNC off so you'll see an error. And the error is the two boxes are red. CTS, Clear to Send, DSR, Data Send Ready, are red. It says our COM port is open, so it's ready to go. So now I'll turn on the TNC. As soon as I turn it on, we get the clear to send, the data send ready, our turn green, and we have an initialization OK, and it shows us the log on. It says CMD, that's our command prompt. Every time you hit an entry, you get a command prompt return. And if we want to know all the commands, we type display. And then hit enter. And there are all a, a lot of commands. There's about 20 you might need to change depending on your setup. So that's the end of this. The nice part with Airmail, you can use it for testing out a WinLink script. You can go through manually and go through a node to another node to a post office or a dash 10. And I'll have some explaining of that in another video. Enjoy 7.3 from Victor Echoes.